Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back this time, but this is a different video. We'll be talking about the incoming new artifacts for the next Genshin Impact version, which is 2.3. And first, we're gonna talk about the first one that got teased, which is the Ocean Yud Clam. I don't know if I pronounced that right, hopefully I did. So as for the two-piece set, healing bonus plus 15%, and the four-piece, it's quite a long read, but this screams like Kokomi, and I was thinking of other characters that can benefit from this. So if we read the 4P set, when the character equipping this artifact set heals a character in the party, a sea dyed foam will appear for 3 seconds, accumulating the amount of HP recovered from healing, including overflow healing. And I guess on what they mean by overflow healing is that even though the character is already at full health and there's still some healing process going on, it will still count on the 4-piece kinda threshold. At the end of the duration, the sea dyed foam will explode, dealing damage to nearby opponents based on 90% of the accumulated healing. This damage is calculated similarly to reactions such as electrocharge and superconduct but is not affected by elemental mastery, character levels, or reaction damage bonuses. This is kinda like a white damage, like additional extra damage from the artifact piece. It says here only one seed foam can be produced every 3.5 seconds, so it has like a 0.5 second downtime. Each seed foam can accumulate up to 30,000 HP. There can be no more than one seed foam active at any given time, so you can't have multiple characters equipping this kind of four-piece set. This effect can still be triggered even when the character who is using this artifact set is not on the field. It does say that it's only, it will deal damage based on 90% of the accumulated healing. So if you reach the 30,000 HP threshold on this artifact set, the maximum damage you can get on this is 27,000 logically speaking if and only if you reach the 30,000 hp healing threshold anyways as for the next artifact obviously this is for the upcoming geo characters ito and oh shit i forgot the other one guru i think that was guru um the name of this artifact set is husk of opulent dreams i think i read that right so the 2p set defense plus 30 percent and a battle definitely can use that. Also, character, other characters that scales with defense, one of which is also Noel, can also benefit from that, obviously, the two-piece. Now, the four-piece set, also a fucking essay. It's like a fucking essay here. A character equipped with this artifact set will obtain the curiosity effect in the following conditions. When on the field, the character gains one stack after hitting an opponent with a geo attack. Now, it does say after hitting an opponent with a geo attack now if you're gonna use a 4p set on the well you need to have noelle on her elemental burst form the one where she deals geo damage in order to benefit from the 4p set it's kind of a little bit hard although for the two piece it's a good fucking idea now let's continue reading triggering a maximum of once every 0.3 seconds when on the field off the field the character gains one stack every three seconds. Curiosity can stack up to four times, each providing 6% defense and 6% geo damage bonus. When six seconds pass without gaining a curiosity stack, one stack is lost. It can stack up to four times, so you can have a maximum of bonus of 24% defense and 24% geo damage bonus. Alberus elemental skill, that is, if on the 4 p set artifact, it does say 1 stack every 3 seconds, but Alberus elemental skill triggers every 2 seconds. Now that's, I think that's gonna be one of the few off timings when on this artifact. As, as you can read here, transient blossoms can only be generated once every two seconds. It's not gonna always stack because it's one second off. But if I understand that correctly, if you want to instantly gain like two stacks, is by the time you drop your elemental skill, you want Alberto to hit the character. And that is already... So by the time you drop the elemental skill, you hit the enemy, and that's already two stacked. Now, in the end, obviously, I still need to wait for the artifacts to release. Most of these are just speculations. Anyways, that would be it now for the video. Kinda different one, like I said, but yeah.
Thank you so much guys for watching. And I will see you soon dudes. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.